Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Catch Up here and before Mustard and I are whisked away for a week to be on the summit for the Mortal Kombat 11 Summit of Time, I thought I'd share with you some recent tournament footage where Mustard was using Kano at the Play Expo Warriors Reborn. Uh, this was a UK tournament in the heart of Manchester. Huge shout out to the NBA gaming crew for both running this tournament, it was a lot of fun, and letting us use this footage uh, for the purposes of showing you guys at home. Just to reiterate, as of about right now, uh, for a week, Mustard and I will be gone and there will be no content on this channel. Uh, don't worry, we haven't disappeared forever. We're just going to be doing the summit and our commentary over there. I'll give all necessary links in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you very much for sticking with us and enjoy some recent Mustard gameplay. Love you very much and take care. I don't know, he has spoken to me about Kano before, has Justin, but I don't, I'm not sure how much of the match he's played, so we might not know it. But still... Well, Kano is a character that a lot of people consider to be uh, of the weaker collection. Mustard's a bit, he's a bit, he's a believer in Kano though. He's in the mindset yeah. so far where he thinks, come on guys, calm down. The game has <laughs> just come out. Also, he's very much of that mindset. Uh, character viability is, is very heavily factored in for uh, tournament play, right? And tournament, I mean, the pro competition, I believe, currently is two out of three, isn't that according to the rules? And um, Kano in a 2 out of 3 can be very scary. He has, in my opinion, one of the more dangerous grab games. Like His command grab yeah. is is incredibly strong. Um, it ticks off a fair few things. And because he has a crushing blow on both versions of his regular grab as well, yes. it's it's scary to get grabbed by Kano. And especially yes. in a 2 out of 3 where it's you know crushing blows for 30% both ways. Like, dangerous. Very dangerous. Absolutely makes you double think trying to take a grab when... Uh a character can crush and blow you from either either grab. I'm excited to watch this matchup. Me I'm too. Right. I am no, actually very, very too. excited. As, as beautiful a man as Mustard is, I must admit, Justin might just have him beat. I mean, <laughs> I think it's going to be a question of experience for me. I, I truly have no idea how to how to gauge this. We know Justin. We know Justin has always been a strong Netherrealm player. Uh, Mustard has always had more success, mm. but. Yeah, it's history, right? It's, it's, it's just it's what history is. And in the previous Mortal Kombat games, Mustard and PND in general pretty much ran the UK. Uh, but mm. it's a new game. MK11 yes. is a new game, and it is leaps and bounds different to the rest. So who knows? Maybe this is the time we see other parts of the UK really step up early on. Mm. You know, really start to step it up. Uh, I, I think just I think we'll see Justin do well in this match because I know he he had a super sick. Uh, Jackie Briggs in MKX. Yeah, very strong. Very, very strong. Uh, got an extended button check here. <laughs> Making now sure all the yeah. uh, the checks are off and the uh, input window is exactly yeah, how long they the want Mock it. Pete the Mock Brothers in the background absorbing that, yeah. that information. <laughs> Scouting the competition. Kano's main issue is that he is very much a one variation character. Uh, yes. Ripper is the only variation that's worth picking. The one with the bottles and molotovs, don't even bother. It is gimmicky. It is not worth it. And Ripper just does everything Kano wants to do better. Mm. Uh, but here we go. Got Justin versus Mustard. Actually, right? I would call this the first big match of the tournament. And uh, let's see how it goes. I know that Kano, he may be considered a brawler, but his knife toss is a fantastic projectile, especially if he has the life lead himself. But Mustard thrives off plus frames. You know, he really Beautiful. loves that, that sweet distance with Kano. Where well, he's a bit of a bully. You know, Kano is a bully character, and Mustard. Excellent. And he knows he has the life lead now, so he's going to be very comfortable uh, at this range. Because now it's Justin's turn to get in, but he catches him! Catches well, I him think that's a full that interaction. Back to a 4 I can't remember the button. Wake him up 3, just to immediately establish. That's information for Mustard, though, that Justin immediately disrespected with the down 1. I think Mustard, he remembers when people challenge his plus frames. Ooh, some Good booty throwaway. being thrown in, in the mid-range there. Now, one thing I will say about Katana is that she has had a change in one of the recent patches. One of her strings that ends in an overhead crushing blow got changed. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, because I know uh, such little about Katana. It's mad. But. Uh, I forget what the uh, the notations for the for the string are, but it's uh, it ends in a in, in an overhead, uh, and it used to have like a massive gap in it that you could punish. But right there, we can see Mustard. He's he's he knows now that Justin's playing kind of disrespectful. He's challenging those plus frames with a lot of down ones, but Mustard now enforcing his mid instead, taking it as a free jump. Oh, back dashes just in case uh, Justin press buttons again. Wait, he's not punishing the, uh, the butt dash in uh, neutral either, every time he walks it. He's confident that he's enforced respect. 
Mustard now playing very, very... Oh, and there it is! Looking for the down one, and that's going to kill. Mustard was fishing for that the entirety of round number two, and I think he kind of clocked off on Justin's playstyle pretty fast. Now, Justin's good. He can adapt here, I'm sure, but ultimately, the, the big thing that let him down in that game was just too disrespectful. Like, yeah. Mustard was waiting for him to challenge down one, and he gave him what he wanted every time. Yeah. He's also struggling in the zoning game as well. Kano throwing the knives and beating oh, down his fans. What? <laughs> what Short was hop that? into Kano ball to crush the down one. That was sick. That was some tech right there. And there's the counter hit crushing blow. blow. Yeah. That's going to do about 10% of damage over time. So it goes hand in hand with the knife toss. Just like that, Justin's lost well over half of his life and mustard full control. Ooh. Square wave's going to work out, but... It's little bits of damage here and there. It's nothing substantial yet. Nothing that Mustard has to worry about. Every hit sending him full screen. This is where Mustard wants to be. He's got a uh, adjustment to make as Justin if he wants to bring this back. Down three, down four, expecting it. Block slow, so he gets clipped by the overhead. Mustard pressuring him. I think that string might be plus one. Wake up, oh, roll, gets such a Good prediction on the roll. Nice string, good damage. Drops the corner combo, but the fair bulk of the damage was already done. But now we're in fatal though territory. Mustard has to be really careful. Oh, you know that was a Kano ball attempt. The win. That's the string that got changed. And there that, it is! That used to have a gap in it. You can't punish that overhead anymore. And there's the chip. No meter for last breath. Justin with a very, very smart comeback. I like that. I really like how aggressive he was being. He, he had no choice. You know, he was one hit away from death. He had to just go all in. Finally and, punishes oh. the book. And now Mustard definitely would not have known that was a punish before. No escape failed. Whenever Mustard goes for a grab, he's going to look for escape failed. Kano gets crushing blow on both of his regular grabs. Take Making that. good use of the float. Again. Mustard has always hated the float. <laughs> the moment we saw that Katana had float, Mustard was the first person on the combat cast to go, No! <laughs> I think I remember dead. seeing that on stream. <laughs> and there's the punish. Mustard, I think yes. he's going to explore he slightly bigger out. punishes, maybe cancel it into Kano Ball, but I think he's going to just be happy to get any damage off that square wave. It means that Justin can't just use it. Whenever he wants. He's gonna have to get in. He can't play. he can't win the zoning game here without not with this life deficit. Okay, is there over. it is. And during the round, Mustard's gonna rebuild a lot of those all important resources too. By the time the round starts, he's gonna have at least one bar of amplify, so Justin's gotta be super careful. But we're playing a lot of this match at this mid-range, this long range. Like Mustard's not really being in a position to get those grabs on deck. However, the moment he gets close, Justin is making some really good I mean they're guesses, right? He's he's guessing correctly. Yes. But sometimes you've just got to do that in neutral in any fighting game. Especially against a character with tick throws. You know, yes. you can only block for so long and commit to the lift. doesn't punish the uh, lift. I really don't think he was going to expect the fan lift, but he'll take any damage he can. He's winning this full screen game again. Justin getting caught in the air and struggling. Here. Really he looks unsure, and that's a punish. Oh, wait, oh, oh, or maybe not. The punish. What a throw escape. Maybe it's range specific. Oh, oh and the book. immediately goes in for the load to amplify the on the spot adaptation. Run into grab. Oh, brutality. brutality. Eat my face. And now he's just going to go <laughs> relieved. <laughs> Look after yourself, guys. Look, he's watering the plants. What a lovely yeah, guy. Yeah, you know, you know, a little bit of color to this red stage. <laughs> but that is 2-0. Justin looks a lot better. He looks a lot more comfortable in game number two. But yeah. It's on the spot adaptation. You can tell that Mustard's kind of learning this matchup as he goes as well. Yeah, it's really strong to deal with Mustard Zoning game, though. It's the, the Kano's knife is not to be underrated. You know, yeah. okay, he's a very good zoning tool. Breakaway is used, that. but the moment he knows you break away, you've got no resources! Counter hit on the crushing Ooh, blow, back three. again. And unfortunately for Justin, he's taken a lot of damage, but he's used a lot of resources. And he can punish it! Oh, punish the, the, the punish on the low changes everything! Oh. Mustard knows when to go in for his grabs, too. Match point for the boy. Justin looking uh, a little bit uncomfortable now. Uh, at the moment, Mustard's now realized he can punish Square Wave. Justin, he's got to look for something else to get in because the Square Wave does not work. And he's looking for the punish. If that was two crushing blows, he'd have got a second one. <laughs> Mustard's played, he has played this matchup so no well. No punish that time, but gets the jump in. Throw escape. He knows that most players do forward throws almost all the time. And wow, pretty much everything is punishing that move now. Try and punish the high, and it's it not very possible. Oh. Corner confirm. Yes, please. Oh, he's got so much far to kill. Oh my oh, god! Don't wake up, attack me. Oh no! Oh, and oh again. god! Oh, oh god. Justin, Justin. Oh god! 
Oh, that Kano. was such a, a jerk a bag thing. To, that was a very Kano <laughs> way to end the game. It really it? was. That, yeah. was. that was a very Kano way to I end. did this last time. You'll probably not be expecting it a second time, so I'm going to do it again. I mean, the thing is, <clears throat> that was actually a really good time to do it because it was the first time he ever did it. Yeah. So, I mean, those parries and those really cheeky last minute things, the thing about it is you, you have to look for it, right? And, mm. if, and if, if it's the first time you've ever used it in a set, when it's the final play, there's no way your opponent has remembered that you've got it. No yeah, way. Absolutely. But that will help characters like Liu Kang as well, because he's got the combo version of the yeah. parry. Looking forward to seeing some Liu Kang later when I'm uh, looking Rudy forward plays. to seeing some Liu Kang. He's got some really sick things he can do with that uh, parry. Heroes and Hello everybody and good evening. My name is Ketchup and I'm joined on the small desk by I'm Arm Devil. Devil. Well, how's it going, man? I'm good. I've had a very fun day of MK11. Uh, Almost. Uh, I've MK been making that mistake really. for weeks. It's <laughs> totally fine. So it's MK11 today. We're in our top four territory. Uh, we already have Heroes NZ represented by Hyper Combo uh, in the winners' finals. But now we have to find out who's going to join him. It's going to be Mustard versus Ixy. So it's going to be HCL versus ED. Leicester versus Birmingham. It's actually really exciting because both these players are super sick. I think it's going to be a close game, uh, but I'm going to be biased and say I think Mustard's got it. Yeah, as, as, as much as I love Mustard, and I do love Mustard, I think Ixy might take this one. It's ultimately, I think it's a, it's a matter of experience. I know that Ixy's not going to have lots of Kano experience. However, Sonya is, without question, one of the strongest characters in the game right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Before we get into this match, they have gone straight in. This is a road to Celtic Throwdown Tournament. Whoever wins this gets guaranteed entry into Celtic Throwdown, which is, as you guys have been aware, one of the biggest tournaments in the Mortal Kombat 11 Pro competition for the $15,000 prize pot. So winning this would be fantastic. Ooh. Mustard is not going to be super gutted that he took the crushing blow immediately because now it's gone for the rest of the game. Yes, that is true. But still, he's got a, he's working on a really big life deficit. Ooh, and the roll gets stuffed by the... Yeah, so Ringmaster is a variation that gets good pressure and excellent damage because you can dash cancel those ring uh, blasts. But ultimately, um, Kano is going to get out zoned until he gets the life lead and then his knife becomes a decent projectile. The problem is, she can mix. She's got excellent footsies as well. I think Mustard. It's going to be a matchup I, I foresee of Mustard having to constantly chase Ixy down. You know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and he knows that you can just down three that. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the button is there for Kano. Back two or forward two, either one. Um, you can crouch it because it's a high, so she can just disrespect the follow up and, and not even have to really care about it at all. It's a bit of matchup knowledge that uh, Ixy's obviously played this matchup a little bit, at least, know these sort of things. Yeah, it looks like he's prepared for it. And then there's the uh, plus on block jump three. The thing is, going for a grab that early on is super predictable. You know, Mustard's yeah. going to be kind of worried about dedicating too early to the grabs, even though Kano is an excellent grab character um, versus Sonya, who has the damage. Excellent throw escape. Uh, he's going to be a little bit worried about that. And yeah, keeping him constantly as far away as possible. And that's really how this matchup is going to go, I think. I'm super surprised that he's not done anything with the air ball yet, to be perfectly honest, with the amount of rings that's been thrown. Well, it can fly over uh, small characters, especially if you amplify it. You spend a bar to try and make it safe, and it's not really that safe at all. And Ant, yes, Dan, and one. We in there, MK9 boys. <laughs> Takes the plus frames. And yeah, Mustard's going to have to try and figure out something to do here, because he knows the second he goes in for that high, uh, Ixy's going to challenge with the down three every single time, and that kind of really puts a spanner in his offense. And that was just a really excellent display of how to play this matchup. You know, if you can keep Kano away from the life lead and keep him as far away as possible, his tool set is catered to having a life lead rather than being on the opposite end of it. Yes, I know Mustard does play Sub Zero, and I would recommend that he switches. I don't think he's going to swap. I mean, like Kano's the, the character he's played the most. It's definitely his favorite character. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's really got enough experience with any of the characters to be confident with them in tournament. And now, again, he's not going to be upset that he took the uh, crushing blow immediately because now it's gone. But it has put him quarter life down already, which uh, isn't a particularly good look against Sonya, especially when she's going to run away from you the entire game. All of the amplifier is gone. Has just got one bar back though, and there's the confirm. Back forward four to end it. Must have having a really hard time. Ooh, getting some offense going now though. He's really struggling to crack into this defense because Ixy has got fantastic defense. Like he's a really, yeah. really smart player. And uh, there's no reason to overextend. If Ixy doesn't need to overextend, he will not. There's the safe ball. Unfortunately, it's costing Amplify all the way. Gets clipped by the overhead, but plenty of le uh, work left to go. And now here comes the Kano game. Is he going to try and roll out the go. corner? Oh, just the jump out of the corner. I think, you know, that's actually kind of mad. I think Mustard was actually kind of prepared for that too. And really smart for Ixy to go for a forward throw, knowing that Mustard's going to try and tech the other way. It's so common someone's going to try and throw you into the corner. And Ixy, just that one step ahead. Yeah, that's the, the layers to, to be applied even in the throw game. Oh, absolutely. The, the, th the throw game introduces so much of it. 
And yeah, unfortunately his uh, mids aren't the fastest, so he's kind of getting disrespected by those low pokes constantly. Looking pretty rough so far, but we'll see if Mustard can get something uh, that resembles a comeback here. He's not doing too bad now with the running game. It depends on how long Mustard can sit on this kind of exchange, right? Because the moment Mustard hits, gets like one more projectile hit by. He's not got the life lead. And he can no longer take the trade. Yeah. But any anything closer, I think Mustard's a bit nervous to be at that range. Sonya just commanding so much of the screen. It's why she's considered to be such a dangerous character at the moment. Oh, Mustard. A little bit greedy with his amplifier. I think he really thought Ixy was going to expect yeah. the amplifier there, but it just didn't come. Overhead, okay. A little bit. No going in. Below yeah, going in for the back three! Speaking of, speaking of which! Speaking of which! Okay, hang on. He has to watch out for the fatal blow. Yeah, Mustard's not going to overextend now. He wants to just bet it on maybe one knife. Playing it safe. One single hit. She's in fatal ball range. Those jump backs are dangerous. And Ooh, there it is! Kano jump ball. back! Kano ball, really. Trying to play that game of chicken and you're going to come in? All right, well. <laughs> Big oh, resource the, uh, the big resource gone though is the uh, the back three crushing blow is now lost. So he's not going to be as nervous about disrespecting or maybe pressing. Yes. Mid screen as well. So it was really must have pushed him towards the corner, and that's where he wanted to be. He's now got to do so much work to get her back there. Yeah, it's, it's such a hard game to play to get Sonya into the corner without really being able to outzone her in any way. That's the thing. It was always seen them, and there it is, just the down three, pretty much a, a complete guarantee. Breakaway is going to be available. Spit being high and Sonya being a small character. Uh huh. Make it a bit easier. Oh, wonderful throw tech. All right, amplify, stay safe. Oh, no, that's actually a punish. Never mind. I guess it's safer, but not safe. I'd love to know what it actually Oh, he didn't what? commit to the. Oh, I've only must have committed to that string. Yeah, no, if it had just committed to it, that would have been a full combo. And now he's in a oh, horrendous yeah. position. Full screen. He does not want to be there. Okay, knocked down. Now he's in fatal blow territory. Down four, wonderfully blocked. Oh, oh my, my god! god! Right, here comes the mini game. It's not over. He has a lot of work left to do, but that was the best thing he could have done versus that energy ring. Okay. It's big play. So close. It's, it's next guest wins. Oh! oh the back to back! Jesus. So nearly there, but I see just ultimately he needed one more hit, right? Oh. Must have had to do something brave and brash because if he sat there, he was gonna die. Last breath or not. Yeah, very, 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 very true. You could see on Mustard's face how gutted he was there as well. That was so close. And that is a 2-0 lead. It was one of those what felt like it could have been an impossible comeback, right? Because the moment you're one hit away from death and you've just got to make a bold play, mm. there are so many things that they could do apart from what you want them to do that would just win them the game. So the fact he brought it that, that close was pretty good, but unfortunately it is a 2-0 situation. Takes the plus frames of the ring. And now he's going to get grabbed as well. That was an escape fail as well. Yeah, and I, see. I actually can't remember if Sonya gets a crushing blow grab or not. I know Kano gets two, which is one of his strongest suits, but you're noticing Mustard, he's almost never within the range to land it. Tries to stagger, but just getting clipped all the time. Ixy just going to town right now. The flawless block denies a bit of the plus frames, but it's nowhere near enough. And I Mustard, he's figuring out, what can I do? You know, If I go for my advancing high and she down threes, what are his options? He seems really lost here. And yeah, the unsafe Kano ball. Going for a Hail Mary. It's just going from bad to worse for the boy. Unfortunately, it's going to be match point for Ixy. If he wins this, he's in winner's finals to face off against Heroes NZ. It's, it's, it's hard to see, but I think, he might, I think he might bring something back here. He's got her in the corner now. He just needs to keep her here. Right, that was a throw counter. There was no escape failed. Mustard needs to really keep his eye out on whether that grab's going to be escape or not. No whiff punish on the up three. Fighting his way out of the corner is Ixy so well. I think it's because, like, Sonya, she's so oppressive all the time that she can pretty much fight her way out of any rut that she seems to find herself in. There's lots of pushback on her buttons. And I see the big thing we, you know, we can't forget is that he's just so smart. He's playing the matchup so surgically. And it's just, yeah, really tricky for Mustard. It looked like he had a, something that resembles a comeback, but no amplify. Doesn't really matter. Wake oh, up, fatal blow. Mary. And there it is. A 3-0 for Ixy, who breezes into winner's finals. That was convincing as well. It just looked like a, a, a really, really good display of the matchup, you know. Uh, it was a, a combination of Mustard really... It kind of looked to me like he was trying to figure out the matchup on the fly. I know we're early days, right? So people are still figuring out matchups and characters and all that stuff. But yeah. ultimately, there were so many situations where Mustard can normally mount offense, which comes from like the advancing high string. I can't remember the annotation, so, yeah. you know, sorry about that. But uh, because it's two highs and she goes so low to the ground and her down three is so quick, 
Um, I think she's really, really excellent at just going under it guaranteed. And Mustard's on the fly trying to go, well, what do I do about this? Yeah, yeah, Ixie exactly. was just fundamentally way more prepared for the matchup. And yeah. Hang on a minute. Is this matchup up next? Mustard's staying seated, which makes me think actually we're, we're up to the losers finals already. So yeah. um, unfortunately, the event's actually been overrunning a little bit. So we want to get out of the venue uh, as fast as we can uh, without over going over time. Mustard is still sitting down, which makes me think that we're actually, maybe we're even in our top three. I think this is a losers finals now. Yeah, this and would be losers finals. Who gets pretty fat man? Wet, now, Wetty Fap Man, right? <laughs> Wet, that name. So, Wetty Fap Man, <laughs> I, I, I had a conversation with this guy, and I remember his name because during the MKX Pro League days, I'd look at the bracket, and I'd look who, just who came short of top eight, and there was always this name there, Wetty Fap Man. And we're in, there, we're in the office going, who has named themselves this, right? Who Wetty has called Fat themselves Man. Wetty Fap Man? <laughs> I was like, I want to, and I, I made a comment on a Pro League broadcast once where I went, I want this guy to go to a. I want this guy to go to an offline tournament one day, so I have to read out his name on stream. Well, wait, you fat man, you made it. You're in top three, I think, and you're going to be playing a Mustard in Losers finals. But So, funny name aside, he actually has a, a sick oh, Liu Kang. He really does. A really good Liu Kang, and this is... I think this might be one of his first offline events, too. I don't recall really seeing him much. Uh, I know he was an MKX online warrior, and he sort of lurks around you know, streams and tournaments and all that stuff but uh, it's really good to see him make this transition he's a really nice guy you know I had a couple of conversations with him today and he's super friendly happy to be here and just happy to be a part of it and up against mustard in this losers finals Liu Kang versus Kano this is definitely a matchup mustard's more familiar with because he runs it versus heroes NZ yeah. and there's the immediate jump three the plus frames Ooh, and with the overhead, though. Liu Kang has so many wicked mids you know like mids that can super super catch you if you're trying to press buttons but yeah. especially if they're counter hit speaking of which just hit the plus frames, overhead, and now Mustard is starting the mix. One ones are high, so he's going to get disrespected. Oh, instant jump back, Kanable. MKX strats. <laughs> MKX strats. Jump three. Ooh, jump three. Air to as. Here, Mustard's got the power. Round. He's got a much more Mustard themed costume now. It's very true. Oh, this stage is so good. I oh, love this stage. Some kind of yellow helmet. Sweet hat, you could say. A sweet hat of some description. But in the matchup, but Kano versus Liu Kang, you know, Liu Kang has that low fireball. I don't know how well that's going to fare versus the knife toss, but Liu Kang has some decent range in this game. You know, we're kind of used to him being a jack of all trades and having lots of options. That's pretty much the same thing in MK11. He's got good meatless combos, he's got good mobility, amplified moves are superb as well. However, Mustard's going to react with the air Kano ball. Come on, grab! And now here comes the Kano play. Trying to disrespect. Nope. Nice roll out of the corner. And he's going to get a full combo here too. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, Mustard waits for the, uh, the pop-up before he uh, makes a choice there. That Fatal Blow combo would have been like well over 50%, so it's a good call to break away it. Reverse grab. No, nice. forward throw. Watch out for that Fatal Blow. Oh, oh my oh god, the game of Jesus. chicken and Mustard bites at the last second jump back. Now, Wave Fat Man had a... <laughs> Wave Fat Man had a hard time. He had a hard time getting Wait, something fact, going. There was a hard moment there for a Wetty Fat Man. I always feel like it was what just happened to Mustard in Winners Finals. Uh, sorry, not Winners Finals, sorry. Uh, what happened to Mustard in... Uh, it wasn't Winners Finals. No, it wasn't Winners Finals. It was. I just remember because we've started the stream a little bit late, so I've just had to refresh my memory. It's not Winners Finals, it's Heroes NZ versus IXE. This is um, ah. to get into Losers Finals. Ah, I see. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm not used to stream starting at this sort of weird stage in tournament, so I just uh, wasn't aware, but... <laughs> Alright, Mustard is going to town. Escape failed. Now you got to watch out for that. If Kano gets a grab, he's oh, now going to go for a crush and blow. Yeah, yeah. He knows he's got it on deck. So the moment where Fat Man it. puts himself minus now, he's really at risk. And he's now going to be victim to many of the mids that Mustard has. The next grab that Kano hits will be a crushing blow. And it will kill from this health easily. Oh, I think that might have been a Kano ball. But well, whatever it is, he's not punished for it. Gets There's away with it. Mustard, he likes that sweep because he actually mixes up the sweep with the overhead. Uh, and they have very, very similar ranges. Speaking of which, exactly, just like that. Yeah. Okay, round one. It's almost as if you're twins or something and you see into each other's minds. It's almost like I watch him play all the damn time. <laughs> it's nice to see Mustard in a tournament, you know, he's, he's commentator extraordinaire most days, but when he gets the chance to play, he does enjoy it. does indeed. He's been super active on his stream lately. But now that 4-3 that four, four, string uh, going into the low fireball, that is to remove the gap. You, know, you can actually interrupt before the final kick comes out. If you go for a fireball and the other guy re releases block, they get hit. So. That's a, that's a read, and there's the down one, challenging the high. Mix-ups in the middle of strings. Love it. Flawless block on the knife. More need. Uh-oh, oh, hang oh, on. This is Ooh. Gonna... Ooh, that hurts now, so much. Now, if he gets another escape fail, thing is, Kano gets two of them. So if Mustard gets another grab, he actually is uh, going to get a second opportunity to do that much damage. 
it's on in game. Luke Kang's making his way in uh, very nicely. Now must have got that escape failed as well. Can't remember if Luke Kang has one. Oh, he tries Ooh. to pass. Oh, what? On the throw. I have no idea how that didn't punish the parry. That was <laughs> it's like really he completely weak. missed. It's like it went through him. NRS, please. Overhead. Oh, no punish. He doesn't know the string like Axie. Oh, that was a bit of a scramble, but... M mashing of the down one. Hey, Batman's going to take it. Classic tactics. Final round. I respect Fight. it at this point. You know, If he knows there's a bit of a scramble and he only needs one more hit, these kind of risks get made. Wake up, roll, get scoured, but not punished. There's the gap! We talked about matchup knowledge, how Mutter's going to have a little bit more of it this time round. He does run this matchup with Heroes NZ. He was another Lester boy. Shouts to Hyper Combo Lester. Do some damage for a bar there. Got two bars there. That's he just wanted to push his way out of the corner, really. That definitely wasn't for damage. However, he's going to have to break away this if he doesn't want to die. Out of the corner, and it's also building up the uh, requirements for his pushing below on the back. Oh, it oh, doesn't confirm. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. Six throws. He oh, is not quite, not so quite. nearly dead here. Cannibal. Cannibal. We're, coming. we're moments away from last breath. And now the last breath is used. No Apple voice! What? Oh my god! Oh my god. My good god, Giddly Aunt. He got it. <laughs> Two to nothing so far. This has been a three out of five tournament throughout the entirety, guys. So, <sighs> these guys are. A wise man once said, Oh my days. A uh, wise man also got that as an achievement in the game. Who'd have, thunk, <laughs> who'd have thought? <laughs> who'd have thunk it? What's going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> Getting an All My Days achievement for purposefully neutral ducking a hundred times in a match? Hell yeah. <laughs> Shouts to Netherrealm. I love you. Uh, now, I've actually never seen Wetty Fat Man go with a uh, different character. Uh, so this is going to be interesting if he does change. I'll be honest, it, yeah, it doesn't really seem to me like a, a matchup thing. I really do think that his Liu Kang has been sup like sublime today. It's been super strong. Has he changed variation, maybe? I can't remember. I'm not very knowledgeable on Liu Kang's variations. You know, I, I'm ashamed to admit I need to study up on some of these characters before the summit next week, that's for sure. But I'll soon be able to tell you. No, he hasn't. Same, same variation. Right, there's the delay. Jump it kick. Tries to confirm, but... Ooh, there it is. Take that head. Ooh, down two Christian blow! Now, I mean, the, only re the main reason that happened is because even though Mustard was plus after that down one, it's just a game of frame data. You know, if you go for a high and they try and go for something that crushes highs, even if you press the button first, they will crush it. Neutral jump's going to get matched by the down two. And now he's going to get the forward four three. Bicycle kicks, just the damage and the knockdown. He has... No resources left, though. So he's going to have to be super conservative of this. Oh, oh. Still going in on the corner, though. Yeah, he's going to try and pressure. Oh, throw escape. Nice tech. Oh, roll oh, punish. No, oh, I don't know what's going on. What is, what is going on? What is, oh, Mustard, please. What is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was a scramble. <laughs> I can't, the, the two rounds that um, Wetty's won so far, they've come from scrambles. And it's just been him being better in this, this like <laughs> really like crazy exchange where no one's really sure what button to press. Now he's got that full screen game. Kano's knife, so underrated. One of the best projectiles in the game, in my opinion. I really do think Kano's knife is excellent. No, there's no escape failed, so just a regular old grab. That. Oh, down two. But there's, there's no crushing blow version now, because he's already used it. He's used it now. That's plus into the throw. He actually got thrown out of his own reversal attempt. I do wonder what Mustard tried to do there. We didn't even get to really see the startup of it. Jump in. Raw jump in. He has breakaway. And Here we go. Absolutely. Not surprised to see him use it. Okay, that's a punish, but. Oh, no punish on the whiff grab. Oh, and wow, that's another scramble. I actually saw a bit of a head shake there from Mustard where he's like. The, the, so when Mustard gets disrespected, you know, and by the term disrespect, I mean when someone just doesn't respect your frame data at all, right? They just they just mash the down two. Because they were mashes. They were yeah. three mashes. But they were calculated mashes. He knew Mustard would press a button, and that button would be a high. And because it was a high, it got crushed by the down two. Mm. Mustard can get frustrated about that, but he needs to understand that if, if it's working, because he is not using enough mids or down ones, he must adjust accordingly. Yes. He can't just expect them to start respecting it if it's starting to work. He's been going to the high strings a lot because they've uh, not been getting punished in the way they were in the action. Yeah, absolutely. The knockdown, wake up roll, neutral nice jump scout. kick's going to scout it down. Oh god, that jump two missed. Plus frames, jump back. Low fireball on this variation. Ooh, nice Kano ball. Yeah, 1-1-2 one, one, doesn't do a huge amount of damage. There's the short hop to actually chase down the uh, wake up roll, but it came out a little bit later. How much is going to play that range game? Caught him again, full combo, three hits. Now wait, he's having to be super careful there. 
the second Mustard jumps in, he's having to respect that Kano ball. Two bars. I'm actually really surprised to see him constantly spend the two bars. All oh, the delay is down one. I like it, actually. Turn Stealer. Give me those plus frames. And there there's the go. crushing blow. He's almost dead. Oh! Well scouted. Very well scouted. And that's why he's going in for so many of the uh, bicycle kicks. Is he's trying to the tick towards that crushing blow requirement. I think he might be a little bit more conservative with his uh, meter now. Because he's been able to sort of tick that crushing blow off the yeah. list. All right, command grabs. This is where Mustard has wanted him all day, but... He's done such a great job of, of being slippery and, and hard to contain and just a neutral crouch. You know, Mustard's trying to go for grabs Ooh, and he's no longer able to go over. for it. Ooh. No meter to amplify. Grab again. He hasn't got to worry about the crushing blow down two anymore. But oh, constantly. Still got to worry about the down two though. That is a down one fest at the moment. And now escape failed. He has to watch out. He's getting pretty weak. Crushing uh, fatal blow territory though for both players. Oh, just uses it, but no punish on that. Oh, no combo. Oh, my God. Get strangled. This is so stressful. Right, he's one hit away. All right, last breath. He's sensing that ball in his future. He's trying to scout it. All right, he's last out of it. Yep. There we the go. moment Mustard realized the last breath was gone, it was Kano Ball City. All right, Mustard's on match point, but I think, wait, Fat Man, he's actually got Mustard in a, in a really good part of the screen. All right, the sweep. Catch nice him. Sweep. He's like, wake up, he's going to punish. Ooh. And because of the punish, it's a crushing blow. Must have thought he was closer to the corner than he was because he dedicated him to the forward two, which only reaches in the corner. Challenges. Amplify. Waits for the forward two to connect. Falls now out. Mustard catch him. He knows he's going to be trying to squirm out of here. And there it is, the crushing blow. Counter hit because he knew he was disrespecting with down two. And he's just refusing to block. This is exactly where Mustard wants you to be. You've got to be so careful. Goes for a wake up down one. I think it's really starting to fall apart for Wetty Fat Man. All right, signs of life. He's still in it, but he's this is a it. pretty mammoth task. Last breath Last is breath gone! Is gone, no! Oh dear. Mustard's going to take that one, and, and he's gonna that was a hard fought match, man. I've got to say, I want to give a shout out to Wetty Batman, and I've said your name a million times. <laughs> you got what you wanted, mate. Congratulations. But no, top four in this tournament was uh, absolutely respectable. That's I'm really glad to, always glad very to see people make this trek into the world of offline. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, you know, quite Nothing, so uh, often it seems to be this scary thing, but. Mm. Well, nothing trains you better to actually play the game than playing it offline. It does, because it, it's 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 like it's it's the atmosphere. It's the people that you're with. It's that you know. There's all, all kinds of people all over the place. You know, uh, we're always talking about the game. If you're playing with someone locally, I can play with you right now. And GGs, mate. GGs, 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 GGs. GGs. We're, we're polite out here. We um, are. You can, Very you, you can you can do things and ask someone who's right next to you. Oh yeah, what was that on blog? Exactly. You know, and then you can have a discussion about the matchup or the characters or the game or if one of you is trying to learn something or whatever. It's just such a productive environment. But uh, for the sake of those that are just joining, well, let's not count out Ixy. You know, no. And let's not count out Heroes. Um, oh, wait, no. Where where are we in the bracket? Because I see Jinty. Well, this must be loser's semi then. I, so he beat Wetty Fat Man. I don't know where we are. No, this has to be for... So yeah, th this that, is to that get. That was winners' final. So this is to get watched. now. So now this is to get in. So I'm, I, I got. I'm sorry. I got really confused. We started <laughs> this top. Well, it's not even a top eight. We started this stream at a really weird time. Um, but this is the match before losers' finals. Okay, so Jinty is still in the tournament. Um, this is going to be Kano versus Sub Zero. Did you know you can link to Mortal Kombat Mobile? You can. Look at that. Wicked. You can. You can unlock the Chronica announcer voice as well. Okay, so we now know that Heroes NZ. I'm sorry for the confusion, dudes. Um, but now we know for sure. Uh, that Mustard versus Jinty is uh, for fourth place, and this is to get into Losers Finals, which means that Wait Fat Man would have got um, joint fifth, I believe, uh, for I believe so. a Mustard beam. It would have been joint fifth. So that's still a excellent result. You know, top eight and then getting joint fifth is uh, definitely not the worst thing in the world. But Kano versus Sub Zero, don't really know how to call this matchup. Um, Sub Zero is definitely he's a he's a he's a brute of a character. You know, he's one of the few characters that snuck his MKX stuff into MK11. I think he's got those 50-50s. He's got really amazing jump-ins. He's very, very simple and effective, but a matchup that a lot of people know, you know, because there's a lot of people that play Sub-Zero out Sub there. And I know Mustard plays Sub-Zero himself. He's super familiar with this. Don't know how much Kano experience Jinty has. Uh, I'm always going to say that because Kano is a character that just no one plays. No one's really used to it at all. Um, Jinty does play the slide variation, though, rather than the mix-up This variation. is the difference um, that... The mix-ups exist in this variation of Sub-Zero, but to combo off the overhead, the forward two, he needs Deep Freeze, which belongs to uh, the other variation. But with the Thin Ice variation, where he gets the projectiles, he has a little bit of a better neutral. And the big change is the slide changes. You know, instead of the cold shoulder, 
uh, he gets the low slide, which it low profiles, it's a little bit faster. Uh, well, Crushing Blow, if it connects three times, if you amplify it, for that's big-ass damage. Really, really big really damage. Is. And then he gets good chip. You know, this very Sub-Zero doesn't really have to care about Last Breath very much because the ice the uh, chips it away. are safe on block, and they do a ton of chip. But Jinty has been a Sub-Zero man for ages. And this was immediate data. He knows Mustard's a respectful player who knows the frame data. The moment he did forward four, he knows Mustard's going to block, and he grabs straight away, trying to get Mustard to squirm the next time he does it forward four, no doubt. Finishes the combo. Yep. Oh, the overhead. No combo, though, in this variation. He throws out the overhead, I think, because it, 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 it's as much of a guess for Mustard as it is for Jinty. So Jinty exactly. doesn't want to commit to super unsafe stuff immediately. Speaking of overheads, Mustard has got one of his own. Can also crushing blow if it hits as a counter. And now Mustard. For pretty big damage. Oh, no whiff punish. Doesn't quite get his dash in there. There's the low. Respecting the cancel. Some really nice staggers uh, from Jinty. Doesn't punish the ice ball, unfortunately. A little bit too far away. Oh, <laughs> the air polar axe. Disrespects. Oh, he catches him. You can't. I forgot to mention, you can't break away that. Can the you not? No, no, no. The moment you try and break away the uh, the 2 4, 1 plus, 2 plus 4, whatever the hell it's called. I can't remember. I don't play this character. Um, <laughs> the launch string. If you try and break away, the fatal blow will actually catch you, and you can't get out at all. Really good there from Mustard. The, the knowledge, man. The knowledge from this that Kano was, guy. Uh, that was some good knowledge right there. Two, four, one plus three. Two. I, I'm, I'm annoyed that I can't remember that. Oh, there we go. Jinty has been doing that all day, sliding under high project. And if you hit three of them, it's a crushing that blow crushing for like 35. percent That's a uh, big boy damage. Nice so block that on the low. Grown ass man damage. Yes. No counter hit. So, an honest back three for now. All right. That's one more. Two. One more, and it's crushing blow time. The next time Jinty hits that amplified slide, Mustard's gonna know about it. And actually, I is it gonna be might. now? No, oh. it's not. He drops the combo. Yeah, Dial's in the back one a little bit too late off that jump in. Oh, he's expecting a dagger or a high string, baby. I mean, the thing is, Kano, he hits hard and he gets good Oki off his grabs. Uh, this is a very scary situation. Jumping out of the down four, Brave. Throw escape from Mustard's good. Catches the confirm on the high, and now he's going to get the knockdown. Watch out for the fatal blow. The wake up up three comes through. Dedicates into the slide, but he has no amplify. That would have crushing blowed, and it would have killed. Mustard hasn't got a fatal blow. But he has got Kano! Oh, my oh. God! How close is this? Oh. He's in last breath territory. Mustard has no amplifier. Oh, oh, there it is, God, he's dead! Oh. No! He didn't, he didn't do it! I can't oh believe God, it! I can't believe why, it! Why, why wouldn't you amplify the slide? Why? He must have just missed. Surely he must have miscalculated the health, but if you're gonna lose the round, use the crushing blow. It's worth it! I can't it. believe it! Mustard with the head scratch, like, hmm, kinda got a bit lucky there. Oh my god. I mean, must have capitalized well, but that really was Jinny's mistake. He must have been like, I think the slide's gonna kill, I'll save the crushing blow for the next round, but oh, the greed! He got too greedy! You can do it as a, as a almost like oh. an office like oh. that. As, because if, he, if the slide would have killed and he could have amplified it, it, it wouldn't have crushing blow. Or blown. Oh, it would have done damage before it came out, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got those extra hits you have to factor in before the initial impact. Yeah, you're 100% you're right there. Alright, there it That's is. Two. One. On deck again. Oh, has he already hit one already? Yes. My memory is the worst ever, apparently. <laughs> if Mustard can get the crushing blow out now, he's not going to be upset. It's when it really starts to matter. Right, there's the plus. No, Delay you down can take one. Around with it, I would, I hmm. would absolutely go for them. All right, there's the hit confirm. Yes, uses it. Worth it. Doesn't take the round. It should guarantee That's him the round. The yeah, yeah. There yeah. we go. I should have guaranteed if if he. It's really bad when you use a crushing blow in that situation. Then you actually don't win the round because yes. you, like you completely wasted it. Um, but in this case, Jinty isn't. Don't forget, guys. Even though it just says Jinty in the bracket, this is Ed Jinty. You know, one of the Birmingham boys, and he's been another on player for a long ass time. Mm. Always been a sub zero player. With punish. Yeah, he's been a sub zero player since the very beginning, and he's very. You know, it's good for him that sub zero is so good in this game because if you're if you're a character loyalist and your character's excellent, then you're going to be one of the number one people that can really make this character thrive. And Jinty does just that. Some people try Ooh. to downplay Sub Zero as they always do, but he's not super broken. Yeah, I don't Mustard. Think now, one thing Mustard does, and it's kind of like, you know, it's always your job as a grappler, is you need to start to gauge how the opponent's going to squirm when you get in. And now Mustard knows that he's being disrespected a lot with those down ones and stuff like that. Um, he's starting to chase it down with like jump threes and stuff like that because he's expecting Jinty to escape and he's ready for the chase down, right? There's the forward two. He wants the Oki, I see. Oh, the repositioning. Yep, two forward dashes, push him towards the wall. I've never seen Mustard do that before, but. A little bit of research, I suppose. Right, jump three. Plus on block. Expects disrespect, but not today. Gets caught with the back three, two, one. And now 
Mustard can sort of just sit free. The crushing blow on the slide is gone, so he doesn't have to worry about the damage from this as much. Still, it's good damage to be getting underneath. Absolutely. It's a great punish, yeah, exactly and there it is like again. That. And this is why Jinty prefers this variation of Sub-Zero. He much prefers this to the cold shoulder. Punish! No punish? Oh no! Throw only! Maybe he was expecting escape failed. Oh, oh! The grab was a bit too obvious. He needs to break away. Still took a lot of damage. I'm oh, not expecting the final hit. Chip! He's going to get chipped by the down four into ice. Master doesn't seen that one before. and He got a bit of a late breakaway. I wonder if he, he tried to break away and it just didn't come out in time. And by the time he break away, he's taking so much damage anyway. He did do the breakaway, but he took the hit from uh, the string and then also took the hit from the slide as well. Yep. He's alive, but barely after that one. But it all came from disrespect. You know, Jinty understanding that if Mustard has to try and really rely on these grabs, crushing blow down two is the answer, you know, to grabs. <laughs> With punish. Oh, not quite. Tries to jump in. He's not ready for Jinty to commit to that final hit. He's not going to be heartbroken by it because it doesn't do much damage, but it's more the fact that Jinty's getting this free damage. Amplify for the grab for damage again. And there's the down four. Down two, and yeah. Mustard doesn't dedicate to the down one. The anti air came out a little bit low to the ground, so he didn't believe in it. Oh, what? That missed. Oh my god! Oh, escape failed. Okay, Ooh, okay. P and D mustard will remember that. <laughs> I see crushing blow throws on the horizon. I mean, if mustard hits a single grab now, it's gonna crushing blow. The escape failed come through, and that's why Jinty's trying to jump. He's really terrified of that. All right, staggering overhead. Oh. Mustard just going for the neutral jump, just with the wrong button, I think. Knocked down. Let's watch out. Throw coming. There's one coming somewhere. There is a crushing blow grab in your future. Oh, there's the down oh, one challenge. Disrespecting the high string. No cr the counter hit on the overhead though, so there's no crushing blow there. Oh, there it is. Punish. Damage. Kind Let's get the breakaway. For the throw there. Oh, oh, that throw escape. That's so risky. That 50-50 though. He guesses right. Master doesn't really mind. His oh my god, the health he's doing. And now... Now if he gets a crushing blow grab, he's won the game. Oh, all right. Ugh. I believe that's two as well. EX slides. Good punish. Or amplified slides, I should say. Oh, Jinny, he's not ready. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, wait. No, no, he didn't. Escape failed. I wonder if he just went for the other version of the grab, because he's got two, right? Kano has two different versions. Either way, he's going to take the uh, third game. Now 2-1. This is a good set. Jinny has really surprised me today. Um, you know, I expect nothing less from someone that's played Sub-Zero for as long as Ginny has in not only MK11, but Mortal Kombat in general. This guy's been a loyalist for a long time. But he knows our Kwai Lang. But but be Han. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me how it, it, it canonically it really is just Kwai Liang Sub-Zero now. Be Han is noob Cybot forever. It's pretty much. He was only uh, Sub Zero for a game, and then he was uh, Spectre for the rest of the match. You know, there's an intro between Noob Cybot and someone else where he, uh, he says, I once stole Shinox Amulet in reference to mythologies where <laughs> Bihan Sub Zero steals Shinox Amulet at the end of the game. Oh! <laughs> Amplify this for extra damage. This is the variation of Kano that does give him these extensions. He doesn't get them in the other variation, which is honestly kind of why Kano is seen to be a one variation character. Oh! Whiff punishes the forward two. That's one. There's the ground. Oh, one more big hit. Wake up up three from that range. It's going to work out, though. All right, now he's going to go for something brave. And oh. there it is. Overhead into Fatal Blow. The overhead into Fatal Blow in this variation is so smart because in the deep freeze, you know, you're always expecting the overhead a little bit, aren't you? Because he can go into Amplified Ice Ball and it gives him a combo. In this variation where he can't combo the overhead outside of Fatal Blow or Slide, you're so, like, never prepared for it. You're, you're not looking for it as much as you normally would, because he won't use it as often with Punish. Oh, nice Punish on the wake-up. Doesn't amplify. Escape failed. Get on the roof. Must have pressed the wrong button. Very smart for Jinty to dedicate to just the forward two and not the entire string. He got Punish there. Speaking of which, now he's going to get caught. Must have sort of telling Jinny that he's not really looking for the overhead anymore. That's the wake up. He's got so much mileage out of that wake up. I thought, and he's disrespecting everything. Yeah, that down one is coming out strong here. All right, there it is. Combo, but he's got breakaway. And of course he uses it. Down four, takes the plus frames. Throw oh, escape, nice. smart. Mustard's almost out of meter. He's gonna be, watch out here. He does not want to make this a 2-2, oh. but he very well might. 
Didn't dial in the combo on the jump in. There's the kill. Punish, there it this is. should kill. Uh, the fatal blow for Kano does a lot of damage and he's going to be getting the mini game. Mini game. Jinty gets the defense. Yeah. He actually gets the defense every time, but I don't think it's going to help. Yeah, there it is. There we go. They tie it there and it's still going to be match point for PND Mustard. Jinty needs this round to make it a 2-2. Two -two. So close, Ketchup. This has been a really good set. It has. I'm really happy with how the UK has taken to this game, you know. Like, you know, I'm happy to see Jinty do so well, Ixy do so well. We saw some sick stuff from like Just Xavier earlier on, you know, Heroes. It's been a good day for Mortal Kombat. All right, there's the confirm. He's going to get the easy corner combo. He's going to go for the crushing blow. Yes, he is. Yeah, and th there's no, there really is. He's got the execution to the back three, two into slide as well for the launch, but it does so much damage without it. You just don't need to. And he disrespects, constantly disrespecting Mustard's frames, and Mustard's going for the high all the time. Throw escape. Oh, Oof. the back two. Punish. He's going to have the breakaway, though. And he pops it late. Mustard, be careful. Nice jump back. Jump three. There it is. Uh, if he catches something at the end, he might win this game. There's oh, the command grab. God, that's it. Jinty was Ooh. not looking for that command grab. Mustard takes it, but barely. Oh. Fourth place is going to go to Jinty right here. I'm going to give the props to him, man. That was some six up zero. Was some exceptionally good play from both players. It was one of the reasons why Sub-Zero is not a one variation character. You know, there's a lot of people who say, hey, if you're going to play Sub-Zero, man, play the Deep Freeze. Jinty much prefers this variation because he likes the slide. He likes the Icicle. It doesn't really use the Barrage of Frost much, but it's not really worth it. It's you don't a little pick bit the rich. variation for that move, <laughs> do you? No. Um, but it was just excellent reactions, good reads, uh, clearly some knowledge in the matchup, uh, especially as the set went on. Mm. Um, but Mustard just sort of uh, being the man of the moment. That does mean that it's going to be a Hyper Combo Leicester Losers Final. Uh, it's going to be PND Mustard versus Heroes NZ. Uh, Mustard sort of tends to, to take these sets when they play. Um, so I'm going to favor Mustard in this one. But I know both these players have the shot at revenge you know, versus yes. Ixi, uh, who defeated them both in the winner's bracket. So we'll see who wins, and whoever wins deserves that shot at Grand Finals. I think Mustard might take this one. I think Mustard has this weird thing where when he's later in bracket, he tends to play like absurdly well. <laughs> uh, it's just something that Mustard's always always done uh, in Jeez. tournament. Ever since the days of Cyrax, you know, MK9, where it kind of just felt like uh, the moment Mustard was in a top eight bracket back in the day, he just dropped nothing. Went for these like super crazy um, Cyrax, uh, not even reset BNBs back then. It was pretty funky. Um, but it, this is this to be honest, but this this matchup to me is is a. Uh, is a, a demonstration of old school versus it's old school versus new school uh, to me, where heroes really sort of signifies the the upcoming generation of players. Mm -hmm. You know where he got involved in MKX and made his name uh, during the Intercontinental Championship of Injustice Two and knew he wanted to play MK11. Mm. And Mustard cheeky representing cheeky. the uh, the old the old asses, out, yeah, washed up generation. The that old have moved on dudes, to commentators and content creators. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's that's what we do. That's what we do. Uh, it's, all, it's, well, it's all about the community, really, at the end of the day. I mean, once you're in the FGC or in the NRS community, you never really want to leave, no matter how old you get. I love the NRS scene, man. I really do. I'm in love with it. Like, I always have been. It's uh, any community you've got where everyone has a mutual appreciation for something that everyone loves. It's sick. I don't know if you guys can hear the uh, announcer telling us that the event is now closed, but we have it for a little bit extra. So... Mm. Um, thank you very much to the Play Expo team for letting us do that. Yeah. So That's this is very generous of them. Yeah, uh, Kano versus Liu Kang. We already saw this with Mustard versus Mighty Fab Man. Um, and you know, there's a lot of knowledge there. But here we go. Hyper Combo Leicester loses finals. Shout out to the guys for making it this far. Whoever wins this gets a shot at revenge versus Ed Ixi, who uh, has been pretty unstoppable today. But we'll see if it's going to be Liu Kang or Kano to try and bring it to him later on. Liu Kang's zoning game going to be very effective in this one, I believe. Expensive start, though, using both Amplify. Uh, that said, he's about to build one bar back. And Mustard's going to fish for that back three. Really wants that counter hit at this mid-screen range. Oh, Harry me? Oh, you need to show me more respect than that, son. <laughs> <laughs> but Heroes isn't afraid to make those big plays. Uh, he's very reactionary. Uh, he will always try and anti air. He'll always try and, you know, anti cross up. If there's a tight punish or an interruption, he'll try and go for it. He's a very, very uh, wears his heart on his sleeve kind of player. And I think a lot of these these more new school players will do that. That's just kind of how they've always played. Mm. Uh, those young man reactions, dude. <laughs> but speaking of which, there's the uh, counter hit crushing blow. Big damage, flying kick out of the fire. Yes, please. 35% for a bar is nothing to be shaken at. Especially as it's uh, comfortably put him in the lead. And yeah, Mustard's trying to run in for the standing two, but a high is only going to get you so far. He's in last breath territory now. No counter hit. That doesn't take a bar off him yet. 
Oh, no, just the stand up! <laughs> <laughs> he was. Mustard was looking for something oddly specific there, yes, I think. I'm not entirely sure what he was looking he for. He must have been expecting a wake up down two or something. Like, he was looking for. Oh, the neutral crouch! Doesn't matter now, though, because he's going to get the crushing blow on the back three. And there it is. The jump out that I think Mustard was actually looking for originally. High into plus frames, gets the down one. Man, Kano's down four is one of his strongest buttons. I mean, look, this has so much pushback, but so on hit, he has good buttons to challenge as well. If he has you in the corner, Kano can really do an excellent job of keeping you there, but you're noticing that high, even if they try and down one or interrupt, he's kind of minus after it, so if he expects you to ch challenge it with a low, I don't even know if Kano can do much about it. I don't know, well, he, he is known to for a fair fight. Man to man, hand to hand. Just like his daddy taught him. <laughs> what I saw back there was not very fair. <laughs> so he stood full screen, right? <laughs> And he threw fireballs. fireballs. <laughs> I could see his spam and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost my lunch. <laughs> Fantastic. This is why we come to these commentary events. If this Shang Tsung guy is so great, how come he's got such a crummy looking boat? <laughs> a treasure. A race. A moment. <laughs> Final round. Fight. <laughs> how fortunate for them back home. Well, I'm a bit of an underworld boss myself, you know. Back home. I should say that to his older self. But, alright, there's the interrupt. Doesn't commit though, because I think there's not as much of a reason that heroes would confirm uh, into the full string. Now he knows that the crushing blows would use. He has less reason to go for it. Disrespects the down one plus frames though. Wake up, up three. Okay, bit of a turn stealer. Back three. And there it is. Grab. No escape fails. Yes, sir. Really watch out for that. Goes in for the mid. Flawless block. You can really just sort of see that this real game of pace. What a whiff what punish! That was a great whiff punish. But doesn't meter burn the bicycle kick at all, though. I wonder if he wanted to just keep the meter for later, you know, because you, you still get that restand situation, don't you? Oh, throw Possibly. escape! Hang on a minute. It is the last round as well, and I don't think you'd be able to get three in without just killing Mustard. You know, when I was just talking about how Heroes is a really reactionary player? That's the punish, he's dead! Oh, oh no! It, what the? Oh, so that lucky. was spaghetti ending right there. You know, Mustard dedicating into the fatal blow. If it worked, he would have won the game. Um, but that's a perfect example to me of, of heroes really sort of showing the the young man kind of play. You know, where he's super, super reactionary. You know, this, this, what almost won that game was the anti cross ups down one because he knows that if Mustard's going to jump, he can get the punish. And Liu Kang's down one is really good for that anyway. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of players out there that wouldn't go for that because they'd, they'd be too nervous to. Yeah. Heroes didn't press a button on the way down, so he's not going to get counter hit there. Oh, we, we, uh, deja vu, Arm Devil. I've seen this one before. I have seen it oh, before. He doesn't forward too. Uncharacteristic combo drop there from Mustard and oh. the grab. Is he going to fall out of it? Oh, he expected him to. He didn't fall. I think Heroes was expecting a breakaway, yes. but forgot that he'd just used a wake up attack, so he didn't have the meter to do it. That was a bit of a brain fart there from Heroes. Could have taken a bunch of damage, but unfortunately, uh, his own mismanagement of Mustard's meter there. Down one to interrupt. Reversal grab. Throws no throw corner. escape failed, so... No whiff punish on the get-up, though. You know why Mustard... I, I always ask Mustard, why doesn't he do 2-4 into tick grab more? And he says, because everyone gets hit by the low. And then he whiffs the grab, and then he gets punished. That's actually <laughs> exactly what happened there. It's right. almost as if he should listen to you more. Well, 2-4 is a really good tick. But the four is a very cheeky hidden low, and people eat that all day. The down two, more than fast enough uh, to beat the four with four three string there. So and he's there, random lizard. Fight. I wouldn't eat anything in Outworld. You'd, pro you'd probably die instantly. Probably lose my lunch. You're <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> you wouldn't have the Outworld stomach to, to deal with their produce, would you? Very true. Especially oh, the, the flawless <laughs> block into reversal throw punish. That's some matchup stuff right there. He knows he can flawless block into a punish there. Well, bicycle kicks on deck. One amplification. Yeah, we're now in crushing blow territory. Mustard looking good. Oh, the trade. It's going to give him a knockdown and give Mustard Oki the damageless trade for PND Mustard. Oh, he backs off and works out for him with the throw amplification. Uh, throwing daggers amplification, I should say. Oh, and just throws the random target on at him. Just Take that. Stood there enjoying the match. That's for not being an suddenly. MKX Baraka. <laughs> or the thing that looks like Baraka. Yeah. Who we shall not name. Man, I think Baraka is so good in this game. He really is. He's so strong. And there it is. Let's tick off that crushing blow requirement for the bicycle kick. Nice and early. He's still got one more amplification to do before he can actually get the crushing blow. Uh, 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 uh. 
All right, I, I'm pretty sure he might have ticked off, ticked off the requirement already. He's got three amplifications to uh, to get the pressure blow on bicycle. Oh, I see. It's always weird. I'm, I'm still learning so much about these characters. There's a lot to learn, to be fair. Yes, there is. Oh, Throw into the corner. Ooh. Gotcha. No gotcha. escape failed. Gotcha. Though. Nice anti air one. Heroes ends. It. This is not the same heroes that we saw uh, like earlier today when he was in the tournament. He was playing very ropey. You know, he was dropping a lot of combos. He was trying to go for these big decisions, but the execution kind of let him down. And I, I, you can you can tell that it was nerves. You know, you can always tell when a player looks nervous because they don't play like themselves. That's what was happening earlier with heroes. And now we're this late in the tournament. He's playing with mustard, who he plays all the time. Oh, oh. Mm, forward two. Uh, uh. Give us that. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I combo. thought he might have gone into the bicycle kick there for the for the uh, push and blow. That would have been so much damage. Full screen out. Yeah, Kuna the duck. These guys are in the. These guys are literally playing 4D Jesus. checkers. You're playing chess. I'm playing battleship. Ooh. Oh, sunk my queen. Oh, last breath territory. Jumps over the knife. Oh my god. The whiffs. Oh, oh, just just a just a raw old one one. And now it's even for another time. This is game number three, and it. I must say, actually, it's kind of closer than I thought it would be. Heroes is just playing so well. I'm really impressed with him. Oh, the crouch, though. Don't want to stagger too much, especially when it's whiffed. Eat this dude real quick. The energy. That's just an energy bar in Outworld, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, commits into the uh, amplified really fireball. Risky, if he'd have been ducking there, or even if he'd have pressed the button, that would have stopped that amplification. Throw counter. All right, come on, press some buttons. Mustard's against the ball now. Stagger with those buttons. Staggers. Recovers in time. Mustard, 2-4 by itself. And yeah, counter ball. The big thing there is that the side switch, he's no longer in the corner. That's a win for Mustard for sure. And the amplifier's all gone. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Man has to break away that one. Oh, come on, grab. Oh, the command grab with amplification as well. Yeah, oh. watch out for that fatal blow, mate. What is this? Has Mustard gone back in time? Is this young man Mustard? He went back in time and told young Mustard to duck right there. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Jump. Summit of Mustard. Oh my god. This is so close. Oh my throw god. counter. Hang throw on. Throw him out of the corner though. Why would you throw him out of the corner? Unless because he... the forward grab was going to be teched, I think. They both got fatal blow. Oh, oh god. My god! Mustard can no longer trade! Oh. I wonder what he tried to do there to go through. And hang on a minute, Heroes now one game up. This Mustard on the verge of going out at third place. He's on match game. This is really, really good series. It is. I'm it's enjoying this one. So close. And both players seem to have leveled up during this this series. It feels so. It really feels. I think Heroes uh, in particular just he's playing so well. I mean, even like a week ago, a hyper combo like this. This even the, the Heroes back then is not the Heroes now. I honestly think it is it is this environment of the tournament, you know, where he's now he's relaxed and he's played a bunch of his own tournament games and he's those nerves are gone, he's more comfortable with Liu Kang. I know these guys had a really long house session yesterday, you know, Mustard's been really sort of helping heroes uh, come to grips with MK11 and sort of whipping him into shape. <laughs> um, Maybe that's where he learnt the Pit Kano matchup, just downloading Mustard in the, in the house session. They must have just played during that, yeah, they had a really prolonged house session yesterday, so... You can really see the the you know, the proofs in the pudding, right? Have have what these kind of offline sessions can do to help a player grow. You're looking at it. Exactly. Flawless block on the dagger throw. Oh, good beat trade. This guy real quick. A lot of damage right there. Can't duck him either. Oh. Hang on. Now he's in fatal blow territory. Mustard's in trouble. Oh, oh. whiffs the short hop. That definitely caught Mustard by surprise. He was not looking for that. Caught me by surprise. That caught me by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's surprised. What? Press one in chat if it caught you by surprise. All right, Mustard needs this round to make it 2-2. Kano Ball, get out of my face! Sweet. Got a couple of ones popping up in chat there. He really, he really hasn't been going for too many of those overheads. Um, so I think that's one thing Mustard's aware. I mean, a big part of it is he's not really in the range to do it. You know, the, the overhead's pretty long and exaggerated. And they're constantly taking this battle at just sweet distance. Hero's constantly backing up, looking for something to whiff punish. Whiff punishment is his game, especially seeing as he's playing as Liu Kang. Overhead! Hang on a minute, he's going to watch out for these overheads. Mustard respecting the strings at the minute. Doesn't confirm that into anything, but gets a back throw. Going to put his back towards the wall, and in many ways, that, that's kind of all heroes wants. Doesn't duck. There's the grab. Ooh, one more of those would be good. Wake oh up, fatal blow. Goodness. He looks for it. 
He really when it works, it. it works. I mean, it just feels like Heroes has been playing so smart and so respectful this whole time that Wake Up Fatal Blow, I think, was the last thing Mustard expected. He has got Amplify, though. I'd have got Two that. bars of meter. Mustard can just get one knife and he's going to win the game. Mustard's also in Fatal Blow territory now, and that will win in the game. All right, now Mustard's got to be careful. He knows that last breath is a factor. Ship avoid now it. it's gone. It. It's oh, it's nothing. Ball. Nothing you're doing about that. There is nothing you're doing about that. That is 2-2. Two, two. Oh, he's going to fatality. I think, honestly, I think, yeah, he's, he's having a drink. And this is actually one of the things... There's a, there's a lot going on here that you guys aren't really familiar with. We've been so used to players restarting match all the time that we forget that being able to do a fatality and making the other guy sit through the whole thing is an underrated catching your breath tactic. You, yeah, you know, exactly. like he, he did a fatality. You saw him there take a couple of deep breaths. He took a sip from his Pepsi Max with Cherry Coke. And now he's good to go. Pepsi Max with Cherry Coke. Um, Pepsi Max with cherry, I think that's the actual flavour. Of course, there are other carbonated beverages available. <laughs> On your bike. On your bike. So so Australian. Be that final game, the final match. Whoever wins this is going to have to fight Ixy, but they've already had to climb such a mountain in this set alone. I don't even want to be in that situation where you have to face Ixy immediately after this. What a Ooh. privilege. Ugh. All right, there's the counter hit. So close. Almost don't want to say anything while they're playing the neutral games because it's so intense to watch. Knows that he's going to try and maybe trip guard, so he goes in for the grab. Yeah, Heroes goes for the desperation down two. Anti air forward two. That Mustard is now on so match nice. point. Nice bit of Tucker. Ooh. Disgusting. Disgusting. With punish, but oh, risk the that is a. Though. Unfortunately, that string with Kano is unfortunate because if he hits it from max range, the rest of it whiffs and he gets punished. It is Crash the shows. bane of Kano's existence, unfortunately. It's one of his main strings, and if you don't get it point blank, you will be punished on hit. Okay. Nice whiff punish there. Back to that full screen. He's playing the full screen game very well here against Mustard. Counter hit. He's aware of it. Crushing blow. Oh, oh, he must have. He must have just thought he was closer to the corner than he was. He tries to go in for the run in one two for optimization. Oh, hang on a minute. This is the final round. Match final point. Both round. players. Oh my days. This is uh, close games. Absolutely close games. Amplified Kano ball, keeping it safe. Oh, he knows he's gonna try and whip punish. He was ready for it. Breakaway use at the start of the round. This is bad news for heroes. It's going to take him a long time before he can break a combo again. No escape failed, so he's in a little bit of a, you know, real estate there, but... Oh, tries for a grab. You know, I said everyone eats the low when he tries to sit grab it. That's exactly what happens. Out here, forward two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Extending God. the combo. That was very nice. All right. Gets caught on the down three. Still in it, but... It's like heroes, he has no defensive gauge at all. Oh, Oh, the stagger! Doing that last time. No amplify. Saving his meter for something. Interruption. Oh, that was very well predicted. Oh, not sure what he tried to go for there. Might be a back three, perhaps. He's brought this life deficit right back down to almost heal, almost level. The fatal blows in play as well. It really is in play. All right, gets clipped. Oh anti air! Anti air! Fatal blow! I think that's actually going to be game over! That is definitely game over. Mustard didn't dedicate to the Kano ball and he's going to pay the price. Game over, I think. God there God. it is! Heroes NZ beats Mustard and loses finals. That was a really, really, really sick set. And Heroes even popped he, off when he landed. Even if he forgot the fatality. <laughs> he, oh, he Close, God. you got to be closer! Oh! oh. That is. And all that work. After all that. All that work was for nothing. Well, disappointing. That was a super good match. Luke Kang that was super black eye in that picture there. He has. He's <laughs> just right there. Just across <laughs> there. Across there. That was an excellent display. And the that final choice so to anti air the jump back because that was basically a game of chicken, right? That was mustard's jump back. He's got me to amplify. If heroes tried to press a button, he'd have got caught by the air Kano ball and died. Um, but in this instance. He knew Mustard wouldn't do it because it was a risk and it was a big risk to take. Mm. So he bet it on the anti-air fatal blow. It was just, they were really just, you know, constantly trying to get into each other's the heads in the last second. Play. There was a lot of layers, a lot of layers. And uh, well played, Very man. Impressive. Really well played. Mustard was... Person